I play a ton of MMOs, and depending on where you draw the line between MMO and simply online multiplayer, that number could reach into the hundreds, if not thousands. I have dabbled in nearly every MMO since their conception, and yet there is one that we know so little about, but it has still grabbed my attention in a way that I have not felt since WoW had Mr. T advertisements on the Super Bowl. I'm Mr. T, and this is my Night Elf Mohawk. Now what game could I be talking about? There are a ton of great projects coming up that have been highly publicized, but in my opinion, the biggest new thing coming has been kept very heavily under wraps. I am, of course, talking about Riot Games' MMO, currently untitled and set in the world of Runeterra. The League of Legends universe has been exploding over the past few years, with Riot adding auto-battlers, card games, adventure games, RPGs, and even a fighting game to their ever-expanding roster for the world of Runeterra. I have collected the books and the comics. There is so much lore and so much to dive into with the world of Runeterra. And now Riot has reached their natural endpoint, a massively multiplayer online game set in the League of Legends universe. This video is part two of my everything we know about the League of Legends MMO. I will gloss over the previous video while going over the new information we have learned in the last eight months. That said, I will be quickly going over each new piece of information. If you would like a more intricate deep dive in the topics covered here, please subscribe to my channel, go over to some of the previous videos and join the discussion. Before I start, as always remember this very important disclaimer, it's still way too early to be certain that anything said by myself or the devs is 100% true. Take it with a grain or a pile of salt. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Back in late 2019, League founder Mark Merrill teased plans for an upcoming MMORPG title and almost an entire year later, the infamous Greg Ghostcrawler Street confirmed through Twitter that they were indeed in the process of developing an MMO in the League of Legends universe of Runeterra. So when can we expect the release of this game? Personally, I have no goddamn clue. And before you scroll down to the comment section to tell me it's 6, 10, 50 years away, stop. I've heard it all before. The truth of the matter is we have no clue and speculating a release date at this point is really just a waste of our time. I am curious what your guess would be and well, to be honest, it does help my algorithm so feel free to keep commenting down below, but it's really just deep speculation at this point. That said, I do personally believe that Riot has been ramping up their social media presence on Twitter and building hype as well as some inside sources revealing that we will be getting some form of info dump later this year. Fingers crossed. So what can we expect to do in the League of Legends MMO? Simply put, anything you could expect to do in a large, massive MMO environment. Ghostcrawler has teased everything from fishing to high-level competitive raid content, even going as far to say he will be crushed if the team fails to deliver on the promise of intense endgame battles. What about the world of Runeterra? Riot has been hard at work making League of Legends as rich as possible with plenty of famous regions. In fact, there are 13 named areas Riot picks champions from for their flagship title. We'll likely see these same regions selected for a new MMO title as well. The main regions could be more civilized areas like Demacia, Noxus, or Piltover, while fantastical regions like Bilgewater, Shirima, and the lovable Bandle City may also be important to the online game. Riot Games may decide to only start out with some of these. They selected just eight as card regions for the Legends of Runeterra game, but we'd expect them to eventually add all of the iconic League of Legends areas to the planned online game. How about classes? League of Legends boasts six main class archetypes and 11 subclasses in its arsenal. To any fan of an MMO, many of these names may sound very similar. We have tanks, mages, assassins, and even some more original ones, such as vanguards or skirmishers. If Riot simply makes use of the six main classes of fighter, mage, marksman, slayer, tank, and enchanter, then I think we're pretty much set for a modern day MMO gaming experience. What about questing? Riot has hired Matthias T, the lead quest designer for The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077. Greg Street replied with some high hopes for T, writing, His vision, approach, and commitment to resonant stories and player experiences are perfect for the new MMO.
will the Riot MMO include PvP? Ghostcrawler has confirmed PvP saying, the challenge is even if we say we will have PvP, and we will, that can mean so many different things, from ganking to epic battles, to looting, to dueling, to arenas, to even esports, so still probably not for everyone. What will the combat look like? When asked about tab targeting, Ghostcrawler replied stating, not quite ready to share this kind of detail. We think combat is a space where the genre feels a little dated, and humbly I think Riot is pretty good at combat, but explaining our design and intentions will take a lot more space than a tweet. Furthermore, I think we can all but guarantee it will be action combat oriented based on their job posting for a game designer, action combat, for an unpublished MMO. And back into the world of the unknown we go. What about a subscription model? I highly, highly doubt there will be a subscription. In fact, I would even be a little surprised if there was even a box cost. Riot has mastered the games as a service pay model, and I would make the assumption that they will continue this into the MMO. How they choose to monetize will most likely be either premium subs, a non pay to win cash shop, cosmetics, season passes, or a combination of these. They have stated that they want the game to be something you can jump into and play, while also taking time off to go play other games and just enjoy gaming in general. This statement alone kind of makes me highly doubt that there will be a subscription model, as having a subscription model in your MMO really increases the amount of FOMO and kind of forces you to play that game as your main sole game. And that's not what Riot's going for. Rapid, Rapid Fire, Fire Speculation, speculation section. section. Will there be dungeons and raids? Yes. Racials, races, and class locking? I highly doubt it. Ghostcrawler said if he was making WoW today, he would allow all classes to be all races. Telegraphing and player intelligence. Mark, I forgot to comb my hair yetter, has stated that he doesn't want the game to be hand-holding and too dumbed down for modern players. What you can speculate off that is that there won't be too much telegraphing and you'll look for more animations and those kind of things. When the boss raises his hand, move to his left side, that kind of thing. How about stats, gear, dungeons? Yes, yes, and yes. PVE and PVP balance. Ghostcrawler asks, would you be okay with a separate PVE and PVP balance? How about system requirements? We can't answer that yet, but in general, you want a game that can let people show off their high-end graphics hard while also not eliminating a sizable chunk of players who want to play and don't have access to an expensive rig. Time gating, content locks. Sometimes those systems are designed so players don't fall too far behind rather than trying to get you to log in every day. What if those systems are intended just so you don't feel like you have to play for 60 hours straight when new content drops? Transmogrification. Yes. 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 Ghostcrawler coined the term transmog. So, yes. Tanking, healing, DPS, the holy trinity. There are games that take on the challenge of no trinity, but that becomes a major design focus, which means you aren't innovating on something else, and the trinity does mostly work. Besides, there are lots of players who just really want to tank or heal. So, yeah, yeah probably. And there you have it, my up-to-date list on all things currently known or unknown about the Riot MMO. Personally, I really hope they can at the very least release the title as soon as possible so I can stop posting these videos as Riot MMO, but who knows, they could release this info tomorrow. They do have this nasty little habit of releasing information or big tweets the day after I post a video, so we'll see. As always, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I want to hit the 1k subs by the summertime, so if you're not and you've made it this far, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like the video, comment down below, donate a blood sample, and offer up your firstborn. As always, my name is Spun, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.